Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 10th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the latest disasters from around the world. And we're looking at some pretty high winds in Mexico today. As well, flood alerts across the Midwestern United States and Southeastern United States. As that huge swath is still moving northeast, bringing a lot of rain from the Gulf of Mexico. And as you can see here, it is very active on the Pacific Disaster Center. We do have one named cyclone, and this is Lily which probably won't last too long watching the five day forecast and it's not gonna be building into anything too serious. Looking around volcanoes in Indonesia and Malaysia right now, as well as Samosir had a landslide that did happen to take a couple people's lives. Thoughts and prayers going to Samosir Regency so they're saying here in North Sumatra, heavy rain caused flash floods May 3rd. At least one person died and another was injured. Looking at a couple of pictures here. But I mean, we're seeing these kind of events all across the planet right now. So stay aware and prepared. Thank you for tuning in to Morning Dew. We'll have a look at our sun here the last 48 hours as it did release another CME. And this one was directly Earth facing. So, watch for the space weather to be affecting us very quickly. Probably within the next 36 hours, this wave will be reaching us. Just give you a closer view of our sun and its CMEs. You can see the one from yesterday right there. Sorry, the day before. And then another one right there. And that was Earth facing. Looking at it at 193 angstroms. This allows us to see all the plasma filaments erupting. Amazing images coming out of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. So summer is definitely, or sorry, spring is definitely here now in Alberta. Watching for extreme heat today, up to 26. And that's a quick jump. So we will probably have a convective day here in Calgary. Possible thunderstorms in the afternoon, definitely tomorrow. So we're just gonna show you here the Emerald Spiral showing all of the space weather heading our way. You can see here, Earth is that yellow dot. The sun is in the middle. And that CME is directed right at us and is on its way. Please share this video with your friends and family from around the world. Let's stay aware and prepare together and adapt to all of these extreme space weather events, and world weather events. I'm gonna go look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recent being a 5.3 in Halabja, Iraq. 5.3 at a 10 kilometer depth. It's been very quiet over here. Japan still seeing some aftershocks after the large 6 point, downgraded now to 6.1. Lots of earthquakes in the Fiji and Tonga region, as well as New Zealand, 4.5 at almost 400 kilometer depth. So watch for a larger shallower earthquake, and as well watch for an uptick in seismicity over the next 24 hours. Yesterday we had this 4.1 California Mexico border.
So yes, watch for an uptick in seismicity as the space weather heads our way. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's just have a look-see at the last seven days. And on that side of the planet where the 5.3 was in Iraq, it was pretty quiet. But still, we're seeing a lot of deep earthquakes, Indonesia and Fiji, which is bouncing off those larger, shallower earthquakes. You can see where those rings are extended off of the globe. That's how deep the earthquakes were. So I think we're going to definitely see an uptick in Indonesia. This is a warned area for myself, I'm warning, as well as South America. So stay aware and prepared, South America and Indonesia, Malaysia. The next 36 hours will be crucial and we must stay aware and prepared. Let's get to weather here, global weather, brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Looking at North America, finally some spring-like conditions heading across this great nation. But you can see here, large low pressure system bringing a lot of rain, southeastern United States moving east, up the Canadian and US seaboard. Warmer temperatures moving into Alberta. Looking at this beast of a storm heading into Greenland, now I was looking at the wave height for landfall. The waves for this landfall on the storm are going to be 10 meters tall. 10 meter high waves. So stay aware and prepare Greenland because you do have a beast of a storm heading your way. Things are really starting to heat up other side of the planet. Northern Hemisphere. You can see here, five day forecast showing Cyclone Lily fading, moving west. But watching the Pacific Ocean, we might have a typhoon forming early next week. And Pacific Ocean, Atmospheric River, Pineapple Express, El Nino, whatever is going on in the Pacific Ocean, we do have rain moving into the BC coastline. So next week and into June, hopefully we'll get the rain that is needed in the tender British Columbia coastline. So overlooking Southern Hemisphere, still watching in the same area below South America, that large low pressure system developing and building and look at this beast right here now this i was looking at the wave height on this landfall as well 10 meters high thanks for watching today this has been mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching today bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family for us to work. Thank you.